So we have a Carnot heating problem here. We are given a Carnot cycle operating from temperature source equal to 500 and sink equal to 300 and the change in entropy is also given. We want to calculate unavailable energy that is this portion we want to calculate. Unavailable energy is simply equals to T0 multiplied by delta S. Every time you have to take the absolute value of delta S. So we have 300 delta S is 0.2 minus 0.12. So this answer come out to be 24 kilojoules per kg. We are given here two identical blocks of mass M at temperature 200 and 300. Can be used as a source and sink. Determine the final equilibrium temperature if they reach in degree Celsius. If such heat engine is considered as reversible. Now this proof we already done. Whenever you are reversible, the final temperature will be geometric mean of two temperatures in Kelvin. So we have T final equal to TA1 into under root of TB1. So we have under root of 200 plus 273 is 473, 300 plus 273 is 573 Kelvin. So this answer is 520.6 Kelvin. You can directly use the relation under root of TA1 and TB1 and in degree Celsius this value will be 246.7. So in this case we are given two copper blocks each of mass 2 kg, CP is 0.368, initial temperature of one block is 900 and other is 400. You have to find out the loss in availability that is how much amount of heat is lost to the surrounding that you have to calculate. So in this case also first of all we will assume H generation equal to 0 and ideally we will find out TF that is TA1, T1. So when we use this equation we are making H generation equal to 0. It means that the sum heat is lost to the surrounding. So T final will be under root of TA1 into TB1 under root of 900 into 400. So that answer is coming out to be 600. So if the final temperature is 600, then we can calculate the amount of heat rejected block A which is MCP into TA1 minus TF and similarly we can calculate heat rejected by B MCP TF minus TB. So first case we have heat rejected and second case we have heat gain. So this time mass is equal to 2, CP is 0.368, TA1 is 900. T final is 600 and second quantity we have 2 into 0.368 and this one is TF will be equals to 600 minus 400. So what we are doing is that we are calculating the amount of heat rejected by A and heat re it received by block B and the difference of these two energy is the heat loss to the surrounding. So heat rejected by block A come out to be 220.8 kilojoules and heat received by the block B is 147.2. So difference of these two will be lost to the surrounding that is called as loss of availability. So we have the loss in availability is QA minus QB that is 220.8 minus 147.2 73.6 kilojoules is the loss of availability due to this process if we assume a generation equal to 0. So this much is the heat lost to the surrounding. In this case we are given a body of mass 2 kg and Cp is 1 kJ per kg per Kelvin is available at 600 Kelvin. Atmospheric is given as 300 Kelvin and you have to calculate maximum work obtained. So this time we have mass equals to 2 kg. CP is given as 1 kilojoules per kg per Kelvin. Initial temperature is T1 equal to 600 Kelvin which is assumed to be constant and surrounding temperature is T0 equal to 300 Kelvin. This is a problem of finite capacity because mass is given. So this, this we have model as a solid and therefore CP will be same as CV. So we have delta S equal to integral DS equal to integral MCP dt by T. So we have M C P ln of T0 by Tf, mass is 2, Cp is 1, ln of 
T0 is 300, T1 is 600. So this answer will come out to be negative. Minus 1.386 is kilojoule per Kelvin. Now since the heat is rejected, we can calculate m q is equal to MCP into T1 minus T0. So in this case what we do, we will calculate Q first, then we calculate unavailable energy part and then we will subtract unavailable energy part from Q. So that we will get the available energy, that is the maximum work obtained. So we have M is equals to 2, Cp is 1, T1 is 600, T0 is 300. So we have 600 kilojoules is the amount of heat available that can be shown with a rectangle on TS plot. So this rectangle has an area equal to 600, that is the heat Q in. And this area is the unavailable energy part, that is T0 multiplied by delta S. So available energy will be Q minus T0 multiplied by absolute value of delta S. Always use absolute value of delta S. Is 600 minus T0 is 300 and delta S is absolute value is 1.386. So this is the maximum possible work or available energy is 184.2 kilojoules. That is the answer. This one is Q. We are given a steel billet here of mass equal to 2000 kg. It's cooled from 1250 Kelvin to 450 Kelvin and the heat is released and is to be used as a source. Initial temperature of this one is 1250 and final is 450 Kelvin. Mass of this one is 2000 kg and Cp of this is 0.5. So this problem is of a finite heat capacity and this heat is rejected to the atmosphere. So you can very well calculate the amount of heat rejected using the equation Q is equal to MCP M into Cp into temperature difference T2 minus T1. So we have mass is 2000, Cp is 0.5, T2 is 450 minus 1250. So minus 800 kilojoules of heat is rejected. Since this is negative quantity, so heat will be rejected. We have a standard sign convention for heat rejected is negative sign. So this quantity of Q is, Q is 800 kilojoules. And this quantity of heat is rejected to the atmosphere, which is maintained at temperature 303 Kelvin. So T0 equal to 303 Kelvin. So what we can find out delta S here. So we have ds equals to del Q by T is equal to in mcp into dt by T. Because of a solid we are using a constant pressure process. So integrating we can find out delta S. So delta S will be m into cp ln of it's an integral from 1 to 2. So it's a T2 by T1. Mass is 2000, Cp is 0.5, ln of T2 is 450, T1 is 1250. So this answer will come out to be negative. It is minus 1020 kilojoules per Kelvin. Unavailable energy will be equals to T0 multiplied by mod of delta S. So T0 we have 303 into delta S is 1020. So this is unavailable part that heat cannot be recovered. I think this answer is megajoules because Cp already in kilojoules so this answer will come in megajoules and this answer will be in kilojoules. So this answer is 309.5 megajoules. So available part will be amount of heat that equal to 800 so Q minus unavailable part that is 800 megajoules minus 309.5 megajoules. So approximately answer will be equals to 490, 490.5 megajoules. So available energy will be equal to 490.5 megajoules. So steps are standard. First of all Q, then delta S, then unavailable part and then finally available part. Always remember to take delta S in positive sign. That is why take absolute value.